The use of performance-enhancing substances is not condoned in this video. Moreover, the information offered here is primarily provided for educational purposes only. Hey there, brothers. Once again, Larry at your service giving you everything you need to know about anabolic steroids. In this video, I will share with you the most important information about the peptide DSIP, or Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide, DSIP, is a well-known neuromodulator and natural sleep-promoting nonapeptide with many other physiological functions. It is typically found in the brain and easily passes the blood-brain barrier. It has been discovered and heavily studied for over 40 years. It has been used for the treatment of poor sleep, pain conditions, stress-related symptoms, low testosterone via stimulation of LH, and even sometimes as an antioxidant and anti-cancer protein. It exhibits a pronounced stress protective action and decreases stress-induced metabolic and functional disorders in human and animal organisms exposed to a variety of stresses. It has also been shown in research to improve hormone levels and physical performance. DSIP has been described as a sleep-promoting substance rather than a sedative. There is a modulating effect on sleep and wake functions with greater activity in circumstances where sleep is disturbed. There are essentially five stages of sleep. These can be broken down into two categories, REM and NREM sleep. These translate to random eye movement and non-random eye movement sleep. The problem with many sleep aids is that they change the time or duration of these sleep cycles. The problem with this is these cycles are all associated with important physiological processes and anabolic hormone production. DSIP does not change these sleep stages. It increases the ability to go to sleep and offers a more restful sleep. DSIP has been reported to increase sleep in subjects with insomnia. Studies have found out its ability to induce delta wave sleep. This led to future examinations on DSIP, specifically on the possibility that it could be an effective treatment for insomnia. Thus, in a study conducted, DSIP administration has been shown to improve sleep and increase daytime alertness in normal volunteers and patients with chronic insomnia and narcolepsy. Meanwhile, DSIP can be prescribed in conjunction with a low dose of peptide epitalin to promote healthy sleep regulation, especially for jet lag. It increases deep sleep delta waves in the brain. They can also be used to mitigate various pain conditions, drug and alcohol withdrawal, and stress syndromes. Studies have shown that DSIP has exhibited a stress protective action that helps decrease stress metabolic disorders for humans and animals. In fact, benefits of this peptide include restoration of disturbed sleep patterns, promotes a regulation in the secretion of LH and GH release, reduction of persistent or chronic pain, and modulation of cortisol production. Now, let's talk about side effects. Only one study has investigated the effects of DSIP on sleep EEG in normal men and found only minor effects. There are possible side effects in the short-term or long-term use of DSIP peptides. However, no significant side effects have so far been reported with the use of DSIP, whether on animals or humans. Nonetheless, it is recommended to consult your doctor before taking any peptide products. This drug can be administered through injection. Its content and potency is one milligram per milliliter subcutaneous injection that is provided in a three milliliter vial. For the suggested doses to take with this peptide, it is suggested to administer 0.1 milliliter subcutaneously once daily. However, it is not recommended to give out DSIP just before going to bed. The dose should be given during the day to help improve sleep the next night and as well as several days to come. Note that slow injection is proved essential. A complete normalization of distributed sleep was achieved by four consecutive injections to insomniacs. But you must remember that DSIP only works for short-term benefits and not for long-term management for insomnia. Now that you know about it, it's time to give you a good night's rest. All right, guys, this has been your friend Larry once again giving you this advice to regularly consult health professionals in considering the use of peptides. Till my next video.